Hi my beautiful family and welcome to this video. Oh, or I, it's, very, it's very early in the morning here in Sweden. It's not so early but I haven't been sleeping a lot. So it's around, let me show you, 8.47. I usually woke up every morning before 8. It's what I like. I'm a morning person but I've been having a hard time to sleep this summer and uh, especially last night. So I'm very tired but I'm going to see a doctor today and we are going to visit some museums with children, toy museum. So I want to put some makeup on before I go. I have my coffee in front of me because I'm still not awake. And today I'm going to try out some products for the first time. I'm going to start with Absolute Lancome Absolute Soft Cream that I got in one of my boxes. Uh, Too Faced Peach Primer and Foundation. Actually not mine, it's my sister's, but I really want to try this foundation before I buy it myself. I want to try this one and um, uh, Born This Way foundation. So I'm going to try that, wear that all day. Uh, finally, I get my hands on uh, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I bought in shade Light Medium 20. Maybe I should go, maybe I need to buy a lighter shade because I wanted to set my under eyes, but I'm going to see how this one works. If it works good, I'm going to order it from Amazon because it doesn't exist in Sweden. This. Um, powder and I want want to try also this Athena palette that I got in my goodie cob this month so um no not this month it's going to be I know when you're going to see this maybe in two weeks but in July's box so I got this palette and I think that's everything new and some old favorites so if you're interested to see that then please keep on watching God, I'm so tired. I can't even speak. I just woke up 10 minutes ago, made my, co made my coffee and run upstairs to fill. Okay, I'm going to try this cream. I tried it on my hand yesterday. I got this one of the boxes and for a long time ago and I didn't know what it was. And I was very really curious to try it because this full size cost around oh, 190, 100, no, 100, Almost, almost two hundred dollars. Almost. Some websites sell it for less than that, maybe one hundred ninety, one hundred eighty, but it's very expensive. This is a cream, face cream, and I'm going to read what it's supposed to do. Ooh, it feels very nice. Uh, okay. It's supposed. This is creamy facial moisturizer formulated to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. Provides 24-hour hydration for healthy, firmy, healthy, firmer skin. Okay. So we'll see. It smells it like Lancome products, but you know, like the, there is the, this more expensive brand that has special scents in all of the product. This one has something similar to the foundation, but it smells more fresh. Uh, does, I, can, I can feel it on my hands, but not on my face, which is good. I don't want to feel anything today while I'm wearing my makeup. Ah, but this peachy smell, oh my God, this smells so good. Okay, I haven't tried it yesterday, but I did swatch it because I wanted to sh see the shade. It's a shade nude. And I think of the videos that I've seen that uh, this this foundation and Born This Way has almost the same shades or the shades the same. I think that's good. I think I love I love that when the brands do uh, come out with different foundation that the old foundation all of their foundation have the same color range or how do you say because. It's easier for you to find your shade if you use another of their product. Okay, we are going to prime. Uh, no, we are not going to prime the face. We are going to wait it. I want to put the um, try the eyeshadow palette. I feel like I'm going to get a cold. Just before I start working, that's great. Okay, let's go into this primer. I just like how my Urban Decay keeps my oils in control but I like the coverage of this one. So I mix these two, perfect, perfect together. I've been talking about that in 
another of my videos. Some of you ask me all the time, why do I uh, mix different primers when I try different primers? Because it kind of destroys the purpose of the primer. But for me, it doesn't because I want to try the product the way I use my product. Some primers don't fill in my pores at all. I love them. They keep, they kind of make, um, uh, they make wonderful base. They'll make my look, skin look flawless, but my pores are huge huge pores and and without a pore filling primer it doesn't look good even if my makeup stays on all day so that is why I do that and I like to try my products that way so I do use two eyeshadow primers I'm going to take this sugar cookie from Huda, Huda Beauty and set the eyeshadow base I took this one today because it's a little bit lighter and if that fit me doesn't it's too dark for my other eyes. I can mix these together. Try it that way. I didn't blend enough here. Well, well. Let's leave. Let leave it like that. Okay. So we are primed and nice. This palette looks very, very cute. I like these kind of colors during the summer. Um, I got it in the, my box, and I haven't seen any reviews of this palette. I haven't seen seen anyone talking about this brand or this palette on YouTube, especially this palette, because I'll be searching for makeup looks just to see what people think about the product, but I can't find it, so maybe I'm first. And I want to start with Atlas, Atlas, this one. They have a nice mirror in here too, which I like. Oh. There is some pigmentation there, it's good. I felt like I have these colors in other palettes, but actually this one, even if it says sim looks similar to my, some other shades that I have in other palettes, it's totally different on the eye. I have that nice soft peachy look, I can't explain it. It looks very, very cute on the eyes. This palette has three matte shades, this one, this one, and no, this one, this one, for my matte shades and four shimmery shades. So I want to go a little bit deeper and actually go in with um, Nox. Let's put that in the crease. And I'm going to use the same brush. I'm not going to cut the crease. I'm going to put the shade on the eyelid without the um, concealer because I want a very soft makeup look today. Let's deep up the corner and take this shade. I mean, they feel very soft, so, soft press, so there are some uh, kickback. But pigmentation is there. It's very easy to build up. I don't know what it reminds me of. Maybe Zoeba palette. They are very easy to blend and to kind of um, build up to. So yeah, looks cute. Okay, let's see shimmery shade. I want to try it with a brush, and then I'm going to try it with finger if that doesn't work out. I actually want to put this peachy shade all over my lid. It looks so interesting. Well, no, doesn't really work. Maybe if I used... Hmm. The pigment is there, but... Here we go. Take off the first layer and... That's cute. Look wonderful with the, the concealer under it to make it even pop even more. But this gives me a very nice soft peachy look. I like this. They have like a satin finish. They are hard, harder pressed in the pan, which make it a little bit harder to get the pigment out, but it's not impossible. They're harder pressed. Let's wet this and see how it's going to look. Okay, let's see when we wet the brush, how it looks. 
Yeah, much better. There we go. And the mats are a little bit easier to work with than these satin finish ones. I can't call them shimmery, but... Okay, so I want to try this color Fate. Well, this one has more pigmentation. Okay, I want to deep up the corner a little bit more with the same hero shade that we had before. Kind of faded away a little bit. I'm going to take uh, this NYX brush that I got from my friend Valerie and I'm going to take this shade that we had in our quiz before and just blend everything. Okay, so I'm going to go to face and then we are going to go back to the makeup look. I kind of like how it looks right now. It doesn't look good at all before we do our face. I feel like never ma no makeup look looks finished before we do our face makeup. So I want to try out this primer. I love trying out new primers, but if I wear it all along, uh, all of the face, I won't be able to say if it's if it works better because I'm trying out a new foundation. So I'm going to try it out on half of my face. On the under half, I'm going to use this Lancome. And I'm going to compare because they both claim to be mattifying. So, okay, let's use a little bit. It's pinkish. It's Oh, it's thick. It has a thick texture. It feels very cooling. It claims to be cooling mattifying, but it feels cooling. And my face kind of feels good with that cream, face cream. I don't know if it's worth that money, but maybe it is if you use it. I mean, with the creams and face, skincare, you do need to use the product a couple of maybe weeks to see if real results. The first week, you're just going to see if you're sensitive to any of the um, ingredients. This one feels very nice, cooling. Feels like it mattified a little bit, make my skin tone more even, like the primer. Smells fresh and peachy. And let's go in with this Lancome on the other side. I hope I won't forget what side I put what primer. I'm so tired, I don't, I'm still not awake, so I don't know what I'm doing actually. This one is a lighter more um, watery than the peachy one also has that like, typical and calm parfumy scent it's not too strong but there it's there this one feels just a little bit tacky and this one feels more tacky this one is more feels more dry this one is still a little bit wet but so far it feels good doesn't feel heavy i like it we are going to go in with this foundation now and like I said in the beginning, it's color nude or shade nude. So I'm going to put one pump, no, two maybe, two pumps. And let's go with this Lancome side first. The shade looks very nice, matches. Oh my God, I forgot to put the weight. I forgot to go in with the primer, the pore filling primer. I need to go in with that. I can't go without it. Sorry, guys. Let's now go back to the foundation. I mean, I use two palms for half of the face, and it's a nice coverage. It looks very nice. The color is very, it's almost perfect. Um, but I feel like it applies easier with a brush, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go over with the Beauty Blender just to make everything look more even and flawless. So this is one coat with the foundation and I feel like it looks nice. Do I, I do want to go in with um, a thin layer just to build up the coverage a little bit. I like it. I don't love it right now uh, because it looks just a little bit uneven and it looks like it sits on top of my skin. But I'm going to do rest of my makeup and uh, I'm going to do rest of my makeup. Maybe that will give it time to sink in a little bit to 
feels like it just sits there. It didn't sink into the skin enough. Uh, it looks nice so far, far away, but when I look close, I can see those details. Let's put some uh, tart tape shape on the eyes. Okay. So I'm scared because I'm going to use this powder now under the eyes and maybe it will be a mistake because it's light medium but um, let's do that let's make that mistake it is a little bit darker I'm just going to let me put it in on the chin to see okay maybe yeah it's a little bit makes my under eyes look dark so I'm going to go in on in with the other powder to make it a little bit lighter, but I want to try this on on the on the eyes. But it's perfect for the rest of my face. It's going to take my powder brush and just this powder is beautiful, though it is a little bit too dark for my under eye area, so I'm going to order a lighter shade too. Um, but I feel like I made it even on the rest of the skin. I'm going to use this Huda Beauty in Sugar Cookie for the under eyes, just to bright it, bright it up a little bit. So the face looks nice right now. I need to do my eyebrows. So I went off uh, the camera to do my eyebrows. That I'm going back to this palette, and we are going to use my camera. Stop, stop filming in the middle of my sentence. Sentences. Okay, I'm going to use this color on my low lash line. I don't know if you can see, but the pigmentation is there. I kind of like these mattes and the. This peach too, it took a while to build it up, but I mean, it's not impossible. It looks cute. I'll try it with a concealer under it too. Clean this brush and I want to go in with this atlas that we had all over crease. Just to blend the color that we just applied. And now we are going to go back in this shade Fate. In the corners. And this one is beautiful. So I'm going in with my Kaya Cosmetics palette just to contour and broad my face. Also, I'm going to take this Anastasia on top because this one is just a little bit darker than I would like it to. That's a strong highlighter there. Before I apply my makeup, I'm going to set everything. I'm going to use this Scandinavia, the mixing, fixing oil control spray. That is almost gone. I'm going to apply some mascara. And for mascara today, I'm actually going to use Benefit. I'm going to use this Benefit, now Bare Minerals Gloss in Cosmic. I'm not going to bother with a lip liner. Okay, so this is the final look. Let's go closer and see what I think about the products. The base, right now, it looks flawless. Uh, both primers look really, really good. 
the Lancome and the Peach Too Faced one. The foundation looks good. Right now it's melt it met melted melted into my skin and it looks very very nice. It's this powder is beautiful. I don't know how even my makeup is going to look when I go outside in the natural light because uh, I did apply it with the um, sponge and sometimes that can make if there is any uh, pigment to the powder it may it can make some uneven patches because it's hard to apply it very even if you just don't bake holy face with the powder uh, and I don't think it's going to be a problem because I did try to blend it with brush uh, and I did apply a little bit of Huda Beauty just to light up the other eye area. But definitely like this powder, definitely getting in a lighter shade. So I can mix those two. But so far my face look flawless. My makeup look looks cute. It looks very fresh, beautiful. Uh, very spring, summery. So far I'm liking all of the products that I tried in this video. Uh, right now, let me see what time it is. 9.38, I'm going to get dressed, finish my coffee, eat some fast breakfast so I can go to doctor and to town and I'll do a check-in in a couple of hours to t tell you how everything hold up. So see you soon. So guys, I'm back. It's around, let's see, it's almost six o'clock and I've been having this foundation for around eight hours and this is how it looks. We just came home. I'm so tired. Uh, I didn't touch up. I didn't do anything. The shadows are still there. It looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Really, really like this palette uh, and I like the shades. I like the shades in here. They are something special. I really, really like it. Um, and uh, the foundation let me see the foundation i kind of forgot what side was what primer i need to check that uh, before i do the last check-in but so far i do look a little bit shiny my oils are coming through but nothing bad i feel like i don't look greasy i look like i have that natural healthy glow so it doesn't bother me this kind of because i don't feel my that my face is oily um uh, but Everything held up pretty good. I ate a big hamburger and foundation is still around my mouth, so that's good. And I really like it. Doesn't doesn't sink into my uh, fine lines. Fine lines. It didn't doesn't look cakey. The rest of the makeup is still there. The bronzer, highlighter is still there. The brush, brush, blush, 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 is still there. Uh, I really like it. It looks good on both sides. I mean, there is, for me, no difference between the primers right now after eight hours and I don't feel like it's maybe going to be there. Here, the foundation kind of disappeared because of the glasses, but that is always what happens with all of my foundations. So I don't count on uh, having foundation on that, that place. But it looks nice. It looks pretty. It didn't, didn't oxidize. doesn't look heavy. I like it. So I'll try to have this on for maybe one, two more hours and uh, I'll do a last check-in. Hi guys. Okay, I'm too tired and I'll try to do this very fast. My children are playing the Mario Maker 2 right now in the other room next to this beauty room and they are loud so you can probably hear them. But this uh, makeup, eye makeup held up for 10 hours. Let me just show you the time so you trust my words and it just start creasing here a little bit but everything else looks very nice this is my face didn't touch up didn't do anything i'm just so tired that i want to remove this makeup i do now see that i'm a little bit shinier than i was two two hours ago but it looks good the, the whole makeup looks beautiful everything looks very nice it looks like i just applied my makeup and I maybe used a uh, dewy foundation. I mean, I can feel that my oils are coming through a little bit, but that's doesn't feel heavy, okay? Let's see, I'll remove just a little bit of my foundation, or not foundation, oils. And I mean, my makeup looks pretty, pretty good. Everything looks nice held up pretty good during the these 10 hours 
I have some eye eyeshadow here. I don't know why that is over there, but everything else looks very, very nice. Mascara transformed a little bit down here, but there is, that's no surprise for me with my oily eyelids. But otherwise, everything looks good. I really like this foundation. I think it's really good. The powder also looks very nice. Maybe that helped too. I'll try the powder with other foundation as this foundation tomorrow too. But everything looks very nice and beautiful. Um, didn't sink into my fine lines. I like it. I really like this. So I do like the powder. I do like the concealer. I do like the foundation. I do like the eyeshadow palette. I mean the whole look, look looks beautiful. So I'm going to continue playing with my product and tell you in another video what I think about them after using them a little bit more. But so far so good. So guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you already haven't. Don't forget to click on that link with Go Cash Bag in my inscription box so you can sign up and earn $10 when you shop online. Learn more how you can earn $10 right now, but also how you can earn more. And yeah, I love you all. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.